already. So we have the second greenhouse. So there's the first. And the second! I had too much crap in this one. So the... I don't know if I like these or not. Like, they're kind of cool, but they get, like, all these weird bugs up here during the day. And, like, some of, thing, some of my things just don't seem to be... I think this is just because it's too much sun. Like, the cilantro. But some of these just don't seem to be excelling very well in a greenhouse, which is disappointing. I planted some corn, which is doing pretty well. Spider webs everywhere. I got some right here. I bought, I cheated and bought a couple plants just because I did, I really don't like growing parsley or sage because they seem very, like all herbs are very temperamental for me. Obviously, I'm having trouble. I think that one just needs to come inside. It needs like more shade probably. These get dry awfully fast, so I don't totally know what I'm doing wrong because it's supposed to be like humid and damp. My okra, they're starting to look pretty good. This one isn't though, like, this is rosemary, I guess. I forgot to, to tab most of these. Like, this one's broccoli, obviously, and it's finally starting to get, like, little true leaves or something. Super cute. And then I think this is my bell pep, my sweet bell peppers. Only one of these seeds came up. Like, one of those seeds I potted came up. Everything else just kind of died off, which is disappointing. Uh, and then my pool, which is exposed to the elements. I planted some more of these peppers in here, which have so far been okay. And, like I said, tested some broccoli by themselves and planted some okra seeds by themselves just to see kind of what was going on. Because this is the first time I've ever done this. So I figured, why not test? Got some more planted seeds coming up here. Got some more okras. They don't seem to mind being in groups too much. The yellow, I'm not sure what the yellow means. Probably just that these leaves are icky and need to come off. We haven't had too, too much rain. Kind of been in a drought and burn ban. So I'm kind of wondering if El Nino's coming up. It's been very, very dry. All right. Planted some pinto beans and some kale some honeydew melons, which I don't actually like. This is entirely for uh, memory, I guess, because my husband's grandfather just passed away, and he freaking loved those. Lavender, Napa cabbage, because I really like kimchi. I cheated and bought some lavender bushes. I'm thinking of where to put them in my yard, because I really like lavender, and I like the smell, and I like using it. And also lime, a lime tree. I don't like limes very much. But the husband does. So here we are. And then one little seed over here. My onions that I put in here, or my cilantro clump that I put in here, is not doing well at all. There's like one little leaf right there. I keep getting mushrooms in this. This one and the potato one and the other one. Watch out, booger. I don't want you on camera. But yeah, so here we are. There is an update on my whatever this is. I don't know... How to greenhouse, I guess, is my problem. I don't know. It's supposed to keep things wetter than it should be, I suppose. But I'm having difficulty in managing. Like, this seems kind of dry. What likes what? You know, some things like a lot of water. Some things like a little water. Some things want you to freaking drown them. And other things don't want you to touch them ever. So I just don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. People say, well, you should have just researched. And I'm like, you were correct. I should have just done that. All right. Well, these are over with. This is my update here. Oh, and my tomato plants. I have one that was like, oh my God, and like almost died. And I had to take it in. But apparently all these little, let's see if I can get it to focus. All these little fuzzies on the tomato plants. Yep, there we go. All these little fuzzies are potential root systems, so when you actually bury them in the ground, you can bury them, like, rip off all these leaves up until this one. And just bury them from there down in the ground, and that all turns into roots. I thought that was neat. Alright. This is my little gardening area now. Sorry for the noise. It's right by our AC unit. But yeah, so far this is interesting. 
You can kind of see one of my little baby trees out there from the Arbor Foundation. And then some behind here. I have a hawthorn, redbud, and a hawthorn behind this one. But yeah, so here we are. 